Just read, just read this very interesting article by a gentleman called Kaspar Müller, uh, building an artificial neural network in one line of code. And really cool example. Um, however, it's not exactly one line of code and also requires few more steps until you get to the coding. So let me show you how to do the same, but using an Oracle data science service. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. First, we go to Oracle, to the cloudoracle.com. So I log into my tenancy. Um, let's go and get the data science service. Here we're going to create a new project. Let's call it one line AI. And now let's create a notebook, which is gonna be one line AI notebook. Let's get a shape. I very much like this one here. So let's get a three with 10 gigabyte of memory, a little bit block storage. This is my private subnet. And All right, we have our notebook running now here. So let's open it. Okay, so we have here fully fledged notebook, Jupyter notebook to work with. And the first thing we need to do is uh, if we look into the article is that we need, we have here option one, option two, option one is basically showing you what libraries you're going to need. This is a NumPy, Matplotlib and TensorFlow. So we don't necessarily need to install these libraries. We can go into the data, Oracle data science service and fletch a conda pack that already have all this. So let's see which one is going to serve us. So uh, here you will see environment explorer. So let's go there and here are all available uh, conda packs that we have preceded. So let's go and uh, select the CPU flag and see what we have. So we have here something about data exploration. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. This is a TensorFlow with Python 3.7. This one looks very good. Let's go for it. So here is the install line. So we just need to copy this, go to the launcher, open the terminal, paste that line there and install it. All right, we have our TensorFlow and, con and Condapacks installed. Okay, if you don't like the TensorFlow version that you have there, you can always upgrade it. So first thing we want to see is Conda info environment. So we want to see what environments are there. So let's go and say Conda activate and activate the Conda environment that we just installed previously. Copy, paste. Let me see, we, I had somewhere here. So we have pip installed TensorFlow, but we are going to include this minus I flag. Click enter, and this is going to update the TensorFlow um, within this Conda pack. So we have a few options now here. We can go for a notebook, we can create a Python file if you want, or we can just uh, git clone repos repository that we worked before. In my case, I think I'm gonna go for a notebook. It's just a very easy way to start. And here I can go and select the TensorFlow environment that I just installed before. So let's name, let's rename this notebook and call it one, uh, line AI. And let's go back to the article and see what is required. So after we did these installations, here is what we need to import. So we need the NumPy, we need TensorFlow. So we go here and notice, let me move down my screen here, that the Python TensorFlow is actually already installed. So with a space and enter, we can run this. So everything is fine. It seems that this Conda pack has the NumPy and the TensorFlow already installed. So what's next? Uh, checking the version of TensorFlow. Okay, let me copy this one here. Execute the TensorFlow version. And as we can see, now it's the upgraded version 2.5. All right, let's go down and see what's next. So this is the data set that he's generating. As you can see, very simple one. Let's put this one here. You notice already it's more than one line of code. Let's go and see what is next. He's doing that equation. One really nice thing about the notebooks is that you can include documentation like this. Unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to copy something here. So if I go like this and add this here, and this could be a comment, for example. So what's next? Uh, the model itself. So this is where is the line, one line of code. So he's just using this single node of artificial neural network. So let's get grab this one, go here and paste it. So this works as well. 
And then the next one is going to be compile with a gradient descent, the losses mean square arrow, and he's going to fit the model running through the data set 500 times. All right, so let's do this. It's gonna be very quick, as you can see, it's a simple data set. So next one, let's make a prediction. So this is the prediction part. Let's go here, paste, and 399. As you can see, my prediction is a little bit different than the one here. That's actually normal because we didn't put any uh, random seeds. So random seed for the one that they're interested where it is. So get reproducible results with chaos. So this is what you need to set to kind of have a little bit more reproducible results when you test with uh, uh, your model with chaos or even something else. So it's a very important. So all right, so we set this one and now we can go again and run through this code. So you're going to run the, it's done. And now if you do the prediction, you will see that this is gonna be pretty much the same every time because we set the random seed. Okay, so what's next? Plotting. So he wants to plot the results. Just put this here and MATLAB is already there. And and with this, I just wanted to show you how easy and quickly you can start experiments using the Oracle Data Science Service. Once you finish your work, if you don't want to continue paying for the instance, you just go here, click on deactivate button, and your instance is deactivated. But everything you did, your work, your conduct pack, everything will be preserved. So next time you go back to this notebook and click activate, all your work will be there and you will start from where you ended last time. With this, you don't have to pay for the instance and there is no premium cost for the uh, notebooks and the data science service at Oracle. So I hope you like it and see you next time. Thanks for watching.